for me. <laughs> Been thinking about this song since he preached Sunday night on Do You Remember? <clears throat> Shall pray for me. <clears throat> Do you remember when you were drowning in the sea of sin? Going down for the last time When you called upon his name He reached out his nail-pierced hand And he lifted you out So remember where you were back then And thank him for where you are now Give him the glory for what he's done in your heart He took you from sin and strife And gave a new start He took your broken life And he made you complete So take off those crowns of glory And cast them at the Savior's feet do you remember when with all your heart you longed to serve him but you didn't think that jesus could use someone like you oh but look how he's used your life since he's brought you out so remember where you were then and thank him for where you are now give him the glory for what he's done in your heart he took you from sin and strife and gave a new start he took your broken life and he made you so take off those crowns of glory and cast them at the Savior's feet. Yes,
has blessed our land And hunger has never touched my family Thanks to his bountiful I want to personally thank you from the bottom of my heart for showing up for church this week, but for having me. Praise the Lord. I'm thankful for the opportunity and invitation to be here. Certainly there's nothing I can do. But plainly in the John chapter 15, he says, I'm the vine and you're the branches, and without me you can do nothing. But I realize that it takes God. It takes God in that tonight. And I hope you really see how blessed you are this evening. Amen. I thank God for what he's done here this week. And man, we just blinked and we're here Wednesday night already. Amen. Don't give you time, enough time to get acquainted, does it? Revival don't. But buddy, I tell you, one of these days we'll be in a better place. Amen. We will live forever on heaven's bright shore. We won't have to part, leave, and go here and go there. But we'll be with him forever. The book of Matthew tonight, chapter 14. The book of Matthew chapter 14. We'll probably start reading to you tonight in verse 22. But we want to go to the Lord in prayer at this time. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the opportunity one more time to be back in your house tonight. And we thank you, Father, for what you have done this week here, Lord, in this revival meeting. And I pray, Father, the Lord, that this will go with us down through the days of our life. Lord, that when we find some struggling times in our life, that we can draw some strength, Lord, from these services. We can look back and see what you've done for us and how you helped us. But I pray tonight you'd help us one more time. As we look into your word tonight, I pray that you give us a touch from above. Give us the strength, Lord, tonight that only you can give, Lord, to stand and preach your word one more time. I pray tonight, Father, Lord, wherever it may go to who it may be tonight, I pray, Father, Lord, that they would move and act upon, God, what the Holy Spirit wants to do in their life this evening. I thank you for every visitor tonight. Thank you for Canaan Land Baptist Church and all the other churches. Thank you for our church, Balfour Baptist Church, being with us tonight. 
and Brother Andrew and the folks of Maranatha. Appreciate them and all that's been here this week. May you richly bless them. May you overflow them, God, with your mighty presence in their sanctuaries and give them souls for their labor. We pray in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 We want to look tonight in the book of Matthew chapter 14 and begin reading to you in verse number 22. And the Bible reads like this, And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear, but straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. I'm going to stop reading there, and I'll probably cover the rest of them verses here in just a few minutes. But I want you to notice what's taking place here in this chapter. And before I, before where I read to you tonight uh, previously, uh, we can see here that a great miracle had happened where it fed the 5,000, and he was sending the disciples and that on the way while he took care of the people and he was going to have a time by himself to have some time for prayer. Uh, but while he was praying, they were in the ship headed to the other side. I'm glad tonight that we're headed for into the other side and we don't know what's going to come our way uh, and we don't know what we're going to go through. Uh, but I do know one thing. I, I'm going to walk hand in hand with him, amen. And I'm just going to trust him. Him, and that friend this evening because he knows and that's the way. And I'm just going to follow him and do what he needs to do in my life. Amen. I want to talk to you tonight about this ship for just a minute. They were all in the ship. Amen. Together. Friend this evening. And I want you to look tonight that you and I and that friend are like unto a ship this evening. That ship was upon the waters. Amen. And what took and that and moved that ship and got it from where here to there was the winds and the waves and that that would come upon it. I'm telling you tonight there's some things that have happened in my life that have come upon me. Troubles and trials of life. Amen. That this world has done to me. Amen. Listen tonight. And that's beat upon me. It's beat upon you tonight. But I want to tell you something, friend. We better stick with Jesus. Amen. Because he's our all in all this evening. They were in the midst of this ship. And the waves were beating upon it. And that friend, the wind was blowing upon it. They were scared to death. They had been on the water many a time. Many of these disciples were fishermen by trade. They knew the water. And they knew the territory and the terrain trend of everything. But there was a time they got scared. And may I say tonight, friend, listen to me for just a minute. There's going to come a time in your life tonight, if you've never been saved, that you're going to be scared to death. You're going to be scared to death. Amen. Amen. When the Word of God is preached and it cuts right down into your heart and lets you realizing that you're lost as can be. Amen. Listen. Amen. It's good them teachers in Sunday school have taught you the Lord's Prayer. Have taught you every Bible story. Amen. That they've taught you. But I want to tell you something. Amen. Salvation is personal. Amen. Tonight. You must work out your own salvation with fear and tremble. It's a scary thing when this old 
old ship. Amen. Gets in a place where it's never been. Amen. And experiencing things it's never went through. These boys were scared to death. And I want you to know they saw something in the middle of the night walking upon the water. They thought it was a spirit. I want to tell you tonight, friend, there's something troubling you. It's something bothering you. I want to tell you it ain't a ghost, but it's the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's brought conviction. You know what conviction is? It's convicting you of the wrongs in your life to let you know that there is a better way. Amen. There is a better way. Listen to me. Let me say something before I get too carried away. That song y'all was singing, they're already saying you better start stocking up on this and stocking up on that. But I'm going to tell you, I stocked up a long time ago in that old something. And it's going to carry me through. Preacher, they may come get your Bible. They can have it. Maybe they'll read it and get saved. But I'm going to tell you something. I got enough right in here that I ain't going to starve. You hear me tonight. I've got enough right in here, brother, Stanley, to get me through. Amen this evening. I want to tell you tonight, friend, the Word of God will sustain you in the days. Amen that you'll face coming ahead of you tonight. Listen, amen. These people were troubled. And there's people troubled right now with everything going on in our world and the things that are happening. I've never seen a time where everybody's running from the church instead of to the church. Amen. Everybody's wanted an excuse. They found them an excuse. COVID is the reason they're not going to go to church. Amen. But glory to God. They'll put on Facebook. Oh, we had a good time at the beach. Amen. Listen to me. Amen. We had a good time at the Braves game. Amen. I want to tell you something tonight, friend. That sounds like some people need to get the priorities right. Amen. This evening. Yes, yeah, sound like they do. I'm going to tell you tonight. Preacher, it discourages me. Yeah, when I look at the numbers on the board, it does. But when I look into the good book, and he says this, except there come a great falling away, the end shall not come. I'm telling you, God has plainly showed us, children, hold on a little while. Just hold on. It's going to be all right. Boy, these disciples, they had walked with him and been with him. Uh, but they were scared to death. Uh, they didn't know what it was. Uh, amen. Looking out over that water uh, and that friend. Uh, and they began to cry out. Uh, listen, they were crying. Uh, they were scared to death uh, uh, this evening. Uh, I want to tell you tonight, uh, when you get to a place in your life uh, that things come upon this ship uh, and you just don't know what to do, uh, you need to cry out. Uh, and that to the Lord. Uh, uh, what did Bartimaeus do? I preached about him the other night. He cried out. Uh, amen for the Lord to help him. Uh, and many others uh, in that through the Bible uh, they cried out to the Lord uh, and the Lord helped them. Uh, I want you to notice the Bible said here uh, that the Lord came to them uh, walking on the water uh, and he said he be of good cheer. Uh, uh, be of good cheer. Uh, amen and he was encouraging them. Amen. Not to be afraid. It's not what you thought that was out here on this water. It's not something that's come to harm you, but it's something that's come to help you. He said, it is I be not afraid. I believe when he said, it is I. I believe then. 
Amen. Their fears calm down. Uh, ain't you glad when the Lord speaks to you uh, that when you're troubled uh, and that the Lord can just speak to you in a way uh, in a small, still voice uh, and that He can calm the troubled waters uh, that are raging down uh, in the midst of you this evening. Uh, boy, ain't you glad God's a good God. Uh, everybody's got Him out to be so bad. Uh, honey, let me tell you, uh, He's good right now. But when we get out of here, friend, it's going to be bad to the world this evening. We got a crowd running around. I'm trying not to get on any doctrine. I really am. But we got a crowd running around that believes when the Lord comes, that's going to be it. Honey, I want to tell you something. He's got some unfinished business with this world. Yes, sir, he is. Amen. And one of these days, we're going to come back with him. Woo! Glory. Amen. We'll come back, friend. Amen. With the army of God. I'm telling you what tonight. Listen. Amen. We're going to stand victorious with the Lamb of God one day. The King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. With his vesture dipped in blood and his name wrote upon his garment. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm telling you tonight, children, don't worry. The Lord's in control. He's in control this evening. That's right. Brother, when he said to them, it is I. Oh, they quit being so fearful then. Yeah. They knew that voice. I wonder how many times that you and I have been troubled in our life. And God spoke to us in such a way. Oh my goodness, that we went from being so troubled, man, that a sweet peace just flowed right over our presence. I hear tell you tonight, friend, and that friend, he said, from don't be afraid, boys. Amen, it's only me, it's Jesus. Oh, but listen, man, you've always got one of them in the crowd, don't you? I believe every church has got one of them, don't you? Amen. Amen, it's their way or no way. Amen, oh peace. Peter, and that he said, well, Lord, if it's you, bid me come to you. I want to tell you, you better not ask the Lord something, honey. Amen. Because he's going to let you know it's him. Amen. There's been many a times he's dealt with me about doing something. I said, Lord, you sure you want me to do that? Amen. He said, if I didn't want you to do it, I wouldn't have chose you. Amen. He said, if I didn't want something to be done, I wouldn't be not knocking on your door. Amen. Peter said, Lord, if it's you, bid me come to you. What did Jesus say? He said one word, come. I'm here to tell you tonight, friend, you may be sitting in the pew of Canaan Land Baptist Church tonight, and you're saying, God, is that you wanting me to go and pray? God, you dealing with me? Oh, God is doing is saying this, come, come. I want you to know when that Peter got out of the boat, in that. And he started walking toward the Lord. There was nothing wrong with that. He was being obedient to the call of God. And he started walking on the water. But when the things of this life, amen, them waves and winds again, they started being contrary. And he took notice of what was around him. He began to sink immediately. I want to tell you when we keep our eyes off of the Lord, Lord, amen, we'll get into trouble and things will happen to us. But if you're lost and I... I want you to listen for a minute. And that this is a good picture. Amen. About being saved. And that Peter was physically drowning. He was fixedly, fix, physically fixing to die. And he said, Lord, save me. Amen. And immediately the Bible said that the Lord stretched forth his hand. And he reached down. And he got Peter by the hand. And he pulled him up, my friend. Friend. Amen. And saved him. That's how easy it is to be saved tonight. If you'll call on the Lord and let the Lord come into your life. Ask him to forgive you of your sins and save you. I'm here to tell you there's no age. Amen. That you can put on being born again. Amen. I want you to know tonight if tonight's your night, it's time to be saved. Maybe friend, there's winds 
and things blowing on your little old ship tonight uh, or your big old ship. Uh, I've got news for you tonight. Uh, amen. If you'll call on Jesus, uh, he'll help you. Uh, you can read another portion of scripture. They were in the boat uh, and he was up in the head of the boat asleep uh, and they came to him and said, Lord, uh, uh, there's water coming in the boat uh, and the winds are beating upon it. Uh, we're going to drown. Uh, amen. The Bible said that he come on top deck of the ship uh, and he said, peace, be still. Uh, three words uh, in that friend uh, and everything calmed down. Uh, I thank God for the dead, the burial, and the resurrection. Uh, amen. Uh, I thank God for God the Father, God the Son, uh, and God the Holy Ghost. Ain't you? Uh, amen. Uh, our country, they can't get nothing right in Washington. Uh, but honey, everything's right yonder in glory. Uh, that's the best Supreme Court I know of tonight uh, that ain't divided. Uh, that's all on the same page. Uh, I'm here to tell you uh, his government is running well. Uh, it's smooth. It's wonderful. Uh, amen. Uh, and one of these days uh, we're going to get to be a part uh, and see how well it is uh, uh, this evening. Uh, uh, but old Peter said, Lord, save me. Uh, and he reached out to him uh, and he began to pick him up. Uh, and did you know tonight, friend, if you're lost, uh, all you've got to do is ask the Lord to save you uh, and to come into your life. Uh, anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, I know what it's like to be saved. Amen. Uh, I ain't got over it, friend. I ain't planning on getting over it. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm telling you what. Uh, amen. Tonight I'm so saved. It's pathetic. Uh, amen. Uh, I don't mean that in a bad way neither. Uh, amen. Uh, I'm so saved. If I wanted to get rid of it, I couldn't. But I don't want to. Uh, I'm telling you what tonight. Uh, I'm saved, saved, saved. Uh, and the devil can't do nothing about it. Uh, this world can't do nothing. They can't stop me from going uh, to heaven. But I'll tell you one thing tonight, friend. What can stop you from going to heaven is not accepting the call tonight. Yes, sir. Right. Not accepting the call and that to be saved this evening. I want you to know... And I want you to see the difference in the story. What I read to you, there was fear. There was fright. They were scared to death. They didn't know what to do. But when the man showed up, everything was all right. And when he spoke to them, things got a little bit better. But you want to know when it really got better? It's when he got on board the ship with them. Now I want to talk to you Christians for just a minute. Troubles and trials are going to come your way and my way. We can't get around it. The Bible tells the book of Job, man that's born of woman is a few days and full of trouble. We're going to experience it. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not going to sink. You're right. You'll get that when you think about it. Right. I'm not going to sink. Because I'm going to tell you that Jesus hadn't never sunk yet and he ain't going to. That might not be good grammar, but I'm going to tell you, hey man, that's what just come out and I feel good in saying it tonight. I'm telling you, friend, this evening, and you listen and that. Jesus ain't going down in that in your life or my life, but he's going up one day in that with us, in us. Hey man, he's in here. I want to tell you something this evening. Everybody says, man, the church world don't look good anymore. Hey man, they give you this a statistic of how many don't go to church church and how many's going to church and, and they say it don't look good for the church. Amen. For the roll book it don't and for the buildings it don't but for the church, the born again, the blood bought, saved by the grace of God, it's looking good. We're going to check out in a day or two and let me say this, nobody will sneak in and make it in without getting saved. Amen. Nobody will get in. Unless you come through the door. Jesus said, I am the door to the sheepfold. You got to come through the door. There's one door. <laughs> There's one way. Man, if you listen to Oprah Winfrey, you better be turning her off. She don't even know what she says. No, what she knows. Just like a bunch more. I want to hear tell you tonight. This right here. Whoops. This right here is true. Yep. 
This right here is staying. These people were terrified. But what made the difference was Jesus. Let me tell you something. I was nervous and scared to death coming down here this week. Say, preacher, you were scared, you were nervous. Yeah, we get like that. Right. We get like that. That's right. Till we let the man that's in the boat with us take charge. Yep. And when he takes charge, and he's out there in front, because yep. he's stirring the boat. Right. Right. Amen. I'm just following the lead in the direction. Amen, preacher. But I want to tell you tonight, is this is our, probably our last night of the meeting. I don't know what's in your life and what may be troubling you tonight. I don't know what you may be experiencing, what you may be going through. But you may be just like these disciples right here. You may be experiencing something that has scared you to death. It's brought a fear upon you. I want to tell you tonight. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Yes, sir. Do you believe tonight that God can do anything? What did he tell Jeremiah? He said, I am the Lord thy God. There's nothing too hard for me. Nothing. Maybe you need to get that out and write it down on a piece of paper real quick. Spell out nothing. Amen. Nothing too hard for me. You know why things are hard for us tonight? We get ourselves in front of the cart. We're not letting him lead. When we don't let him lead, we won't get anywhere. That's right. You ever went to get out in your vehicle, have an automatic, and you pull that thing down, and you thought you got it in D, but you got it in N? You mash that pad on, buddy, it's just going whoom, whoom, like you own the Daytona 500. You ain't going anywhere because you ain't got it in the right place. But if you'll pull it down just one more notch and get it in D, that's called drive. When you're in drive, that means you're going somewhere. Canaan land, God wants you to go somewhere, and He wants you to go straight forward for Him. Amen. He wants you to keep that old-time religion. I listened to your pastor's message today while I was delivering mail. I got Bluetooth. I, I can do that. Amen. And I, I thought, my goodness. Amen. I preached on some of the same things he preached about Sunday. I want you to know, friend, God God wants us to go forward, not backward. And He wants us to trust Him tonight. Amen. Amen. Yes, and if you're lost tonight, if you're lost, He wants you to come. You came in that in a shape tonight like nobody else knows of. And if you don't do something about it, you're going to take what you brought in back out with a little bit more misery. And you're going to wrestle that bed. You're going to be ill with your family. You're not going to have anything good about you. People are going to come up to you and say, what's bothering you? Oh, nothing. I'm just fine. Just have one of them days, you know. It's hump day. It's Wednesday. Just have one of them days. But Friday comes along. Everybody wants to be happy on Friday. They get paid. It's the weekend. But Friday comes along, and you're just as bad as you was in the first part of the week. And whose fault's that? Man, it's not his. He's sitting right there tonight at the throne. And he's waiting on me and you to get to him. I promise you tonight, there's plenty of room and you can talk to him yes, sir. anytime. That's right. Man, I'll go, I'll, I'll, I'll go somewhere to get me something to eat at, at, a, at a drive through like for the morning before I go to work. And I'll start up there to get to take my order. And buddy, somebody just jump right in front of me. I'm sitting there saying, man. And then they'll take their order and here I'll take another step. And there'll be somebody else just jump right in front of me. 
to get their Lord. And I'm sitting there saying, man, if they don't quit jumping in front, they ain't going to have anything left. But I want to tell you tonight, it don't matter. I guess we probably got 75 people here tonight. But it don't matter if all 75 of us wanted to approach the, the throne of heaven tonight and get in these altars and ask God to help us with what we're dealing with and facing. And I, I want to tell you, He wouldn't put you off to get to me. He would hear every one of us at the same time. Amen. We might not get up from praying at the same time, but when we did get up, we'd get up for Him being lifted and encouraged and blessed and filled with the power of God to ready to tackle the next obstacle in front of us. Will you come to the piano, please? What's going on in your life tonight? What's troubling you tonight? See, everything was fine when the feeding of the 5,000. Brother Philip, will you come get a verse of a song? Everything was fine when they was feeding Matter of fact, the disciples said, Lord, what are we going to do with all these people? We don't have enough money to buy them nothing. But here come a little boy, I believe in the book of John, across the field with some loaves and some fishes. And if you take and add them up, it don't take, you don't got to have a good high school education to get that math right. You add that up, it comes to seven. What do we understand seven represents in the Word of God? It's completion. Because on the seventh day, he rested. Everything was completed. Listen. They took and they fed that multitude. Everybody was so happy. They had so much left over, they had to put it in 12 baskets of fragments. That God is still the same God today that can do them things. But buddy, they left there and they got in that ship. Ain't that sound about like going to church? Man, everything be good on Sunday morning. Come back Sunday night. Amen. Heaven fall down right in the midst. Buddy, about Tuesday of the following week, you run into that storm. You're right, preacher. But remember this. Jesus said, Lo, I'm with you always. That's what he said. Even to the end of the world. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to stand with me tonight. I don't want you to let this meeting end tonight. With God pressing upon your heart to come and pray. I don't want you to walk out that door tonight. If you're troubled about anything, I want you to just bring it. Lay it on this altar tonight. Let God help you this evening. While brother sings tonight, will you come?